Uh, it seems to me there's a, it, it's sort of a grab bag approach right now because all the, the uh, sessions that you have, you just go a little over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's also important to kind of have a, a, a theoretical ground mm -hmm. this stuff. How is media literacy trying to develop uh, a theoretical ground, which is also mm -hmm. Canadian. I mean, one of the problems that, that uh, I think it's a problem is that oftentimes you can borrow from different theoretical you know, perspectives mm -hmm. that come from uh, uh, different countries and they're not acclimatized to the kinds mm -hmm. of issues and problems that, that are committed. Well, media is unique in that we're not borrowing anything from the Americans. Uh, the United States is, is years behind us in developing any kind of critical approach to media literacy. Where American schools do it, if they do it at all, it's production-based. Uh, we borrow from Australians and, and from Britons largely because they're ahead of everyone else. And uh, we're much more structured than it might appear here. Most teachers have had some, some structural background, and there is resource material available that goes through separate genres of, of film and television. And we read extensively and try to bring in things we have found in popular culture writings, uh, writings of Henry Giroux and uh, Aronowitz and Paul Simon and so on. And uh, we do our best to try and supply teachers with some philosophical background from our own reading. But teachers are a little bit suspicious of something that's too heavily theoretical. They want a practical, understandable, hands-on approach that they can sell to students. So we do kind of a basic deconstruction approach to things. And this leads teachers to the same thing we do with students, to questioning why we do it this way. What are the values that underlie this? What are the assumptions we're making when we talk about gender, when we talk about violence? Uh, what kind of, of, of social values do we bring to this? And, and so the philosophy comes with the practice, rather than laying down some kind of philosophical groundwork and then building practice on top. The two go hand in hand. Well, the other question is, Well, you know, it's funny. The Australians and Scots got so deeply into media study because they were relatively small cultures dominated by other people. The Scots felt dominated by British media. The Australians dominated by American media. And because they were so removed from it, I think it was easier for them to be critical of it at a distance. We are very critical of being dominated by American media. And one of the themes that constantly comes up at workshops and in the classroom is the fact that Almost all the media we watch the most avidly is American media, just like horror films are, almost always American horror films. And, and we don't, so far don't have a big agenda on nationalism that we're taking a position, but we are often teaching students that the values that we have been given and the attitudes and, and so many of the other things are in fact imported.